Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to this Friday evening edition of the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Friday evening so let's begin. First up Let's take a look at your COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University in Medicine. Here is a look at that right now. Your global cases are 125,882,815. Your U.S. cases are 30,143,571. Your global cases are 2,761,775. Your U.S. deaths are 547,955. And that is a look at your John Hopkins COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University and Medicine. Now let's get to your other news. First up, Colorado shooting suspect passed check in legal gun purchase. Authorities and gun store owner say the suspect in the Colorado supermarket shooting bought a firearm at a local gun store after passing a background check. Six dead after tornadoes rip through south. New storm could bring more twisters to the region. Five people died in Alabama while one death was reported in Georgia. J&J to deliver 11 million vaccine doses. CDC director deeply concerned about possible COVID-19 surge. Number of new COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations have been going up. A top public health official on Friday said she was deeply concerned about the tragedy of the COVID-19 cases. Again, surging Americans to continue to take precautions like wearing masks, even as state lifts restriction meant to curb the spread of the virus, and more people continue to be vaccinated. Keep on social distancing, everyone, and keep on maintaining that physical distance as well. Trump claims Capitol rioters posed zero threat, says some being prosecuted. Trump claimed on Fox News they were hugging and kissing Capitol Police. Former President Donald Trump is defending his supporters who violently assaulted a, the Capitol on January 6, claiming they posed zero threat despite the riot resulting in multiple deaths and injuries, as well as property destruction. He also alleged his supporters were being prosecuted during a phone interview Thursday night with Fox News host Lauren Ingram assorting the rioters were hugging and kissing Capitol Police officers. The riot led to more than 50 injuries and left five dead, authorities have said, including a Capitol Police officer, Brian Sicknick. Biden calls new GOP passed Georgia law restricting voting access in a trusty. The White House said the black Georgia lawmakers arrest is deeply concerning. President Joe Biden on Friday called a sweeping new Georgia law restoring voting access passed by the state's Republican-led legislation in a city, speaking with reporters as he left the White House today. 
to go to Delaware. He spoke shortly after issuing a statement on what he called the attack on the right to vote in Georgia, a state he won in November, aimed debunked claims of voter fraud. And before we end tonight's broadcast, let's take a look at this video, a lighter story for all of you before we end your Friday night broadcast. Horses at this nonprofit help kids heal from emotional trauma. Let's take a listen to that video from CBS Evening News. where these children can heal. Americans has suffered more than young people. In this stressful time, no group of Americans has suffered more than young people living in underserved neighborhoods. CBS's Nancy Chen takes us to a unique place where these children can heal. For the kids at this equine therapy center in Hartford, Connecticut, he's an inside leg. Patricia Kelly's position is undeniable. I'm the alpha mayor. <laughs> The one-of-a-kind nonprofit Ebony Horsewoman is guided by Black and Hispanic therapists and instructors. Boys coming out. Offering Black and Hispanic children from struggling neighborhoods a lifeline. Before they arrive here in the morning, what are they seeing in their streets the night before? Everything. Um, they hear gunshots overnight. Nine, ten. About 30 kids from the age of five come together year-round at no cost. What were you like as a seven-year-old when you first got here? Oh, God. I was mean. I didn't really like people. 14-year-old J.J. Edwards and his unit patrol the streets around the center, the same neighborhoods in which they live. I know a lot of kids is not going to want to sit here and talk to a therapist and talk about how they feel. Like, you could tell a horse anything. You're not going to say nothing. You're just going to sit there and listen. Horse! The healing nature of these horses has changed thousands of lives since Patricia Kelly started 37 years ago. Anything that I can do to help them, I'm going to do. Good girl. Nancy Chen, CBS News, Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, and there you go on that video. Thank you for joining us for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Have a wonderful evening. See you back here tomorrow for another broadcast. I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Good night. Goodbye.